Seems like you've almost completed the list. Soon I might just let you go. Or I'll make a new list for you. I'm flexible. You're being awfully quiet. No snappy comeback? I know what you want me to review next, and I'm not doing it. What are you... Oh, that? Why? I saw it once before, years ago. Hated it. The experience is still vivid in my brain. Yes, but your universe only... What? Nothing. Just got some errands to run. You stay here and do the review. Hey everyone, I'm the Tom on the internet, and this is Love It or Hate It. Today's review is a terrible comedy that has honestly scarred me for life, Grown Ups 2. Adam Sandler's character and his emotionally stunted man-child friends move back into their hometown, hijinks and shoe. You're probably wondering why I didn't describe the plot for this film. Well, dear viewer, that's because there isn't one. Nothing of narrative substance happens in this film. Sure, there are various subplots, such as Adam Sandler and company feuding with college werewolves, or David Spade having to look after an illegitimate child he never knew about, but none of them take up enough time to be considered the main storyline. While this film is lacking in actual plot, it is equally lacking in characters. Seriously, I am not at all exaggerating when I say that no one in this film has any characterization or development outside of one character trait. Don't believe me? Let me prove it. Fat. Hot. Still harbors obvious feelings for a childhood ex. Womanizer, 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 womanizer. Buff. Leash isn't gonna trip you up. It's your big ass hairy man feet that are gonna trip you up. <laughs> she was just joking around, sir. <laughs> Annoying catchphrase. What? What? You know, what? I don't even get that. What? 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 Gay but not in a camp way. I can go on forever, baby. The only character with more than one trait is this baby, who has two. Yeah. TWO CHARACTER TRAITS! How groundbreaking. In case you're curious, his two traits are biting things and... I know one-note characters can happen, but when your entire movie is filled with them, you know you've done something wrong. Unfortunately, these characters aren't just one-note, they're also assholes! Most of their interactions with each other range from just putting each other down to outright hostility. Gee, that sounds familiar! 
You rarely get a sense of genuine friendship or even just liking each other with these guys and it makes the whole film a slog to sit through. The only character I liked in this is Adam Sandler's daughter because while she may be a little spoiled, she's kind, sweet and everything these other characters aren't. But hey, I can forgive a lack of plot or likeable well-rounded characters if the film itself is funny. Shame this film isn't funny. At all. I already mentioned how unlikable these guys are, but it's made worse by how the film's primary sense of humour is derived from their crappy behaviour. Arguments, put-downs and friendly teasing are the norm in this movie, and it's not even executed in a way that makes it fun to watch. Why don't you ask Nancy Arbuckle to come by for the get-together? Or do you prefer the imaginary shower version? <laughs> That's not funny. It's just cruel. Of course, that's not even mentioning the other forms of behaviour that gets used as a joke. I'm having a wonderful time. To paraphrase a certain wolf puppet, CRAPE! Anyway, I'm Kyle, and welcome to the summer session of Squat Robics 101. I wish they called it something else, but that's what they told me to say. Okay, so, before we start, for real, any questions? Yes. Are you married? <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm, I'm single. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, I forgot, you're so gorgeous, my head is spinning, I'm sorry, God. <laughs> uh, go ahead. I have a very important question, and it's a two-parter. Um, the first part of the question is, did a scientist make you in a lab? And the second part of the question is, can I stick my tongue down your throat, please? <laughs> All right, uh, guys, look, I, I'm flattered. Really, I am, but most of you are married. And I happen to be gay. We can't fantasize about cheating on our husbands with you. You're a terrible person. Of course, this movie does have other sources of humor. However, it's primarily scatological humour that feels like the four screenwriters who wrote this were five-year-olds. Close your mouth, close your mouth, close your mouth, close your mouth. See? She agrees with me. Becky, what do you want, hon? Can I have the soft chocolate cup, please? Here's a word you probably never heard. No. The machine's busted, princess. Oh, bummer. It's broken, like all your dreams? You know what? It's easy to fix. I can help you with that. What do you know about fixing ice cream machines, Higgins? Uh, I went to DeVry for a year. Oh, that's nice. I can fix anything with a plug. Including your hair? Oh. That's not true. I don't even know how that got started. Yeah, that's I... like people are saying that around. <laughs> uh, I'll walk you through it. You just walk up, climb up the machine, lean over the back. can't believe I'm listening to this idiot. Listen to the man. You're going to see two pipes coming into the top. Yes. In between them, there's going to be a silver button. Hit it a little bit. Push hard. Now, yeah, hit it with your fist. Yeah, just push the button. Got it. There we go. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, keep going. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, push it. Hey, my dicky crapping all over the ice cream stand. What'd she say? Nothing, nothing. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 come on. That joke doesn't even make sense. His back is facing them. They can see it's not coming from his ass. The only way this joke can work is if humans were capable of pooing from their privates. Which they aren't! <sighs> it's bad enough that most of the jokes are like this, but it's made a thousand times worse when we get a joke that could work and then they ruin it. Okay, ignoring Kevin James's obvious discomfort, this joke is built around messing with gender roles, and I always like that. Now, as long as they don't mess it up, we might actually have a good joke on it. Ew! That was uncalled for. You had a good joke here. You didn't need to put that level of gross in the sequence. I think I've said enough. In conclusion, this is easily the worst film I have ever seen. Yes, I know there are objectively worse movies out there and that some people probably like this, but I just can't get past this film's boring, childish and downright ugly at times sense of humour. It's bad enough that the most important elements of a film, story and character, are completely absent, but what we have here is a comedy that just isn't funny. 
It honestly baffles me. This film's rated 12, yet his humor so childish that no adult could find it funny. Who is this film made for? Hey, I, 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 got, a, I got a burp start coming. Uh oh. <laughs> Adam Sandler, funny. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I'm the Tom on the internet, and singing yourself tonight is something that perfectly summarizes Adam Sandler's career at this point. <sighs> Well, how was it? Where did you go? I told you, I had errands to run. Now, stop avoiding the question and answer me. How was it? Just as horrible as I remember. I can tell. I can feel your hatred of that film. It's so... pure. For someone who's all, look at me, I'm so positive, you sure can hold a grudge. Why are you doing this? What do you gain from putting me through that? This is what I live for.